Welcome back. I'm your host, Darnell Jackson. In this crypto report, we're going to be talking about Solana. But first, make sure you subscribe to your favorite channel on YouTube. Shout out to all the subscribers. Okay, now this video is going to be a little bit different. We're talking about Solana and what happened. You're looking at a chart in the last week. And as you can see, this is not a pretty picture. You can see Solana shooting up to 216 only to crash back down to where it started. All right, even below it got down to 142. So let's talk about what happened. I want to jump over to the source of all knowledge on the Internet. And that is Twitter. Nobody knows more than Twitter on the internet. So now we're looking at Twitter's reaction to Solana being down. Hilarious tweets going on on here. Solana down 14% after working for half a day. Cardano valued at $76 billion after not working ever that's hilarious breaking charles hotskins co-founder of ethereum and ceo of iohk attacks and successfully takes down solana and arbitrum at the same time says quote fuck round and find out as he smokes cigar and deploys DeFi smart contracts on cardano Okay, I don't usually use colorful language, but that is a hilarious quote. Here's a here's a picture. <laughs> Solana and Arbitrum down. You know what's not down? <laughs> well, you know, is Cardano up? Right? What, what apps are actually running right now on Cardano? Solana is currently down. Arbitrum went down and came back up, then went back down again. Someone tried a 550 attack. Solana protocol went down entirely this morning. Arbitrum L2 stopped working more briefly. Everything in crypto is an early stage experiment. All right, so this is the fallout. ETH accounts are making fun of Solana for being down for eight hours. So here's some jokes. What is Bit going to you, Samson? Samson, a new form of money. Roger, with $50 fees, Samson. Well, what are fees now? Roger, 20 cent, but only because the users were driven away. FYI, I'm on Roger's side here. $50 fees should, in my opinion, count as de facto liveness failure. This must be some high-end geekery, man. I'm not getting a joke on this one. <laughs> so they're just clowning. They're just clowning Solana right now. And Solana's made itself a joke. This is what happens when you let your ambition get ahead of you. Let me share a tweet that I put out here. I said that this is... This is about ambition versus aspiration. And this is how Solana went from hero to hilarious in a day. What's the difference between ambition and aspiration? Isn't that what this is all about? Solana's down because they were focused on their ambition. If they would have been a little bit more meticulous and aspirational, a little bit more humble, then maybe they would have been able to prevent the attacks that brought them down and embarrassed them. They spent all of this time building up this network only to now have the reputation as an unstable technology that's gonna crash whenever the heat whenever the heat turns on. So let's let's and, and now you see the Bitcoin maxis. Friendly reminder that Bitcoin never goes down. And that's very important. Solana and Arbitrum down. So this is not good. 
<laughs> this is not good and people are clowning as they have a right to. Solana mainnet is currently down. Everybody's got their theory of what brought it down. But now that it's down, it gives people the bad news is it gives people a, a chance to pause and think about what they've been doing. Now they're like, hold on a second. <laughs> I just spent how much money on a picture of a monkey? And I don't think that's going to be good for the overall market. Here's some articles. Solana goes down. Developers successfully restart the mainnet. All right. Solana's been down for hours. This is terrible news. The Solano Network says it's seeing intermittent instability. This is not good. And this is what people will remember about Solana more than their successes. Now, what do you predict the future for Solana will be? The developers restarted the mainnet beta. It started functioning as if it's not a decentralized technology. It seems like it's just a centralized server application. Somebody just goes in and rebooted the server. So I thought this was supposed to be a robust distributed application. Seems to be a typical client server application that just had a problem with the server so it crashed. Where is the redundancy? Where is where is the fail tolerance? None of this stuff worked. The Solano mainnet began experiencing intermediate intermittent instability several hours ago the account followed up two hours later revealing that resource exhaustion was causing a denial of service on the network according to Solano CEO the outage has been caused by radium IDO bots trying to snipe the tokens at launch apparently the network validators are preparing for a potential restart if necessary though there is some confusion about what a restart would entail just unprepared even for a worst case scenario, right? Where is the process to smoothly deal with this type of situation? Solana mainnet encountered a large increase in transaction load, which peaked at 400,000 transactions per second. These transactions flooded the transaction processing queue and lack of prioritization of network critical messaging caused the network to start forking. What, what is the processing for the transactions that are authorized to process? I'm not a developer, but I can just right away say what, what, method, what mechanism is there that authorizes a transaction to be processed, right? Maybe you need to modify your logic because you got a lot of invalid transactions that filled up the, the bottleneck your application, right? Now, I will admit my background is in information systems. So we used to troubleshoot this kind of stuff just from an application design level. If you're having a problem where you're getting too many transactions, maybe you need a process to validate transactions. Maybe every thing is not allowed to generate a transaction, right? That would prevent uh, having spikes in transactions, right? Okay, post in the comments your take. It's also awesome to see people that are not technical offer solutions but sometimes those solutions are the best ones Solana and Arbitrum are both facing major network issues so what's the takeaway from this the takeaway it just shows how powerful ethereum is one of the things I did was I bought ethereum I actually dumped my Solana I did dump my Solana at 157 at 157 I sold my Solana at 157 and uh, post in the comments if you're still holding I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess around with a centralized technology nah if it's been attacked right now I'm not buying it they fixed it and it's not gonna be attacked next week I'm not buying it I'm just gonna move over to ETH right now because one thing for sure is ethereum is no is no punk 
It's not going to be easily pushed over by anybody. So right now I saw Solana dipping down in the 142s. I got to stop the bleeding. Are you going to stay in Solana? Post in the comments. Did you buy the dip? Where do you think Solana's going? I think it could get it could get down in here. It looks like it found a little bit of support in the 150 range. But what would stop it from getting down in the 139? Or the 115s? Or the 91s? Or even back down to 70? Solana made fun of ADA for not functioning only to get launched and then not function. Cryptocurrency, it can be tricky. Have respect for those technologies that have outlasted all of the difficulties that you have to overcome. Ethereum has done it. Uh, maybe that's why their transaction costs are so expensive. Is that what it takes to stabilize a network against the pressure? Is that the actual cost? Is that what it is that the actual cost? Maybe Ethereum's costs are not expensive. Maybe that's what it costs. Have you considered that? <laughs> okay, post in the comments your takeaway. Solana has proven, has taught us a big lesson here today. And I think people will be using Solana as a term to describe what can happen to a blockchain more than they will to describe the Solana blockchain. People are going to be using Solana as a uh, as a term to describe crash. That's what I predict here. Post in the comments what you think. I just wanted to ramble and rant a little bit about this crash. I did buy Solana. I did invest in it. I I got I won't say I got suckered because I didn't really lose any money. I think I maybe lost a little, um, but I sold. I should have sold when it was at about 170. Um, post in the comments if you got in it. Did you make money? Did you lose? I want to thank you for watching this video. I want to thank you for liking the video. If you didn't like the video, make sure you check out all my other videos. I got daily crypto reports talking about everything important in our favorite industry so make sure you check out all my other videos you're sure to like you're sure to like one man until tomorrow one